New England Gardening. Today's Friday, November 23rd. And uh, speaking of um, citrus dieback, or uh, bringing a citrus suddenly inside, this is the Tango Mandarin that I reported that was already in trouble. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was, it, it did seem like it was making a comeback. Um, it had a lot of flowers on it, but they weren't opening up. And the flowers seem kind of small, so I'm not certain if that's just this variety. But uh, I repotted it in another video. I brought it inside here. I have it on a heat mat. And uh, the temperature fluctuates, but it, you know, the heat mat really isn't strong enough to, uh, to really warm this up. I'm wondering if I should just place this on the heater, on the radiator every once in a while. But it's uh, 76 degrees now, and that's what the probe at the top of the soil line here in this pot. So it, it does warm up during the daytime. But unfortunately, I think I, um, I had picked this bag up to, I wanted to exchange some air that, that day I discovered I had a strangulated hernia and uh, evidently the, I wasn't uh, humid enough with the bag being raised, uh, I think about this much while I was in the hospital. So uh, speaking of severe dieback and how quickly, you know, citrus can go wrong, this is what I found when I came home. And uh, again, it, it was in trouble. Um, it was making a comeback outside, but we really didn't have a really hot summertime, I don't think, I don't recall. But um, it started getting, we started getting a lot of rain and cooler temperatures uh, in the fall. And I probably should have just brought this in the greenhouse or left it in the lean-to all summer long. But it does seem to be making a comeback on this one sad looking branch here that is remaining. In fact, if you look here, it actually has flowers and kind of weird. They're very, very small flowers. And uh, don't seem to open up yet. And that's what it was doing all summer long. So, yeah, I mean, that's got the original, or whatever. This is a dwarf, so got whatever rootstock the graft is on and I just have this one remaining branch here that it does seem to be doing okay but with the limited experience I have with citrus this is not looking good I don't I don't see this you know, it could it could fool me but I'll keep the bag over it keep the high humidity on this but uh, I didn't want to disturb this too much. I was I brought the saw up. I thought I'd cut it off here, but I'm thinking maybe I'll just use the the pruners to to cut off this dead wood here. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the way it goes. That's that's uh, what's happened with this one. Now, I don't know if it's just this particular variety here of the Tango Mandarin in addition to maybe the particular rootstock that was used for, for this uh, dwarf variety. Maybe it's just not a good combination for cooler uh, weather. But uh, I'm not giving up on it. We'll just see what happens. But I uh, thought I'd just give you a quick update about the sad looking uh, state of this so far. Yeah, it would have been... I think the leaves already started falling off before I went into the hospital, so I'm not certain whether having this tented and keeping the humidity up would have prevented this. It's almost like it's self-aborting down to what it can support, and that's just this this one branch right now, and it just died back to, uh, as you recall from the video, of, uh, I didn't see really any, it was like this one little white root that I saw on, on, on the whole thing, uh, that seem to be active. So, we'll see how this goes.
think that'll do. So I'll leave it like that. I've been spraying it too with um, a solution of citrus fertilizer in the spray bottle. I mean the leaves, the leaves are pretty dark. And uh, I've got the the curtain closed so it doesn't get, it does get like on the very tip here some direct sunlight and the leaves curling a little bit but uh, yeah it's pretty dry in the house so it's I'll probably have to get the humidifiers up and running and just make sure this is tented. I was afraid that mold or fungus would start growing on the leaves that's why I wanted to get a little of exchange of air going on uh, but unfortunately I, th I think I might have, I'm trying to remember, I think I opened up the curtain too. I was looking to see who was going to give me a ride to the emergency room that day. And um, so when I came home, it was in, had some direct light and the tent uh, plastic was up. So that probably contributed to it. So we'll see. I mean, I've got all the ingredients here of uh, still growing a citrus tree. I've got the top part and I've got hopefully some roots. And uh, we'll see what goes, how this goes from, uh, if this turns around, it'll be a citrus success story. We'll see if this survives uh, to next year. Keep on doing videos until the bitter end, if it doesn't make it. So, so this is New England Gardening with an update on the Tango Mandarin. We'll see how this goes. We'll follow this through to the, to the end or whether it uh, survives. Thanks for watching.